I've started off by cloning this repository we can see behind here. This is the synthetic data generation training workflow. And what it's going to do is it's basically going to use the palette jack assets and we're going to create a whole bunch of images in a warehouse with palette jacks lying around with different perspectives and with different camera angles. And here we can see once I've cloned the repo, we can go into it, synthetic data generation training workflow. And if we go into the local folder, there is a file called generate data.sh. And if we open that up, we can see the only thing I need to modify here is Isaac Sim path. So I've put that as my local path for Isaac Sim. And what I've also done, this came in here with 2000 frames, 2000 and 1000. I just want to see that it works. So I'm just going to run it with 2, 2 and 1. So I'm going to CD into that folder now. And you're going to have to chmod that file, which I've already done. So I'm not going to do that. Generate data. We're going to see now it's going to open up Isaac Sim and it's going to go ahead and start creating those images. And we can see there it goes. It's, it's creating the warehouse and now it's probably going to put some assets in there. There we go. It's putting a bunch of pallet jacks and various other random objects. It's changing the lighting. It's changing the textures which is all set in the file we looked at. And there it's creating the next scene. And now the final one without any miscellaneous items lying around. There we go, that's just the pallet jacks alone. Now it's done. Okay, so let's have a look at what it's created. So we've got three folders, the normal one with the distractors, the one with the additional distractors, and the one with no distractors. And if we just look at what we mean by that, we've got here the three sets of parameters with the distractors warehouse, distractors additional, and distractors none. And if we look at the Python script that gets loaded when we do this generate data.sh, it's this one standalone palette check stgpy, which is this one here. And we can see what we do is uh, we load the pallet jacks, which are sitting on this Omniverse. And then it loads the distractors warehouse. And so these are plastic barrels and card boxes and push carts, etc. And then distractors additional, chairs, trash cans, all that kind of stuff. And then it loads the textures. So these, all these original files are all USD files. Then it loads uh, textures in JPEG format. And then it goes down here and it runs main. So it loads all the textures, it loads the pallet jacks, and it loads the distractors, uh, the wall material. And then what it does is it sets up the writer, it gets a kitty writer, and that's going to output multiple files. So let's go and see what it's actually going to output. So if we go to synthetic data generation, we got a pallet jack data, and then we see we've got the three folders. So let's look at the one with the distractors in it. And we open up camera and we should have two files there because I just had it right too. And if we go to RGB and we open up this PNG, we can see that's one of the perspectives of the camera and one of the sets of all the objects that have been placed there. And let's look at the second one should be completely different, totally different floor, different objects laying around. And then we can see a few other bits of info which we're going to use in the next step. We have got uh, object detection. So it is showing us in the first one, these are the four pallet jacks with their coordinates, and it's also giving us uh, semantic segmentation. So well, there we go, it's segmented each of the pallet jacks, and we can see the distractors additional will have just different items in there. So let's open up one of those, and we can see we have all sorts of other things like chairs and tables, and it looks like a kitchen sink that. And then if we go ahead and we look at no distractors, it should just be the pallet jacks. There we go, just pallet jacks. Now, one other thing I did is I added a few lines of this code here. So this actually saves the USD file, so we can go in and inspect the USD file that was created uh, within Isaac Sim and see what that looks like. So let's look at a sample of what was written. 
And here I've opened up all the files and we can see if we go to perspective and we go to cameras, we see that will be what would have been exported, either that one or that one. And if we go to perspective and we zoom out, we can go ahead and look at each of the items in the warehouse. So we can see we, as we click on each of these X forms, these are part of the root, the default prim, which is the warehouse. So we can see as we click here, it's highlighting lighting and structures within the warehouse. And then if we go to replicator, this will show each of these elements that was placed on the floor. So let's click through them. There's one of the pallet jacks. There's one of the barrels. another barrel and a basket and it's pretty cool we can navigate around the warehouse if we want to and we can zoom in so now I'm going to rerun this script and I've changed the number of frames to 100 150 the initial code had 2000 2000 1000 but I don't think my machine's gonna be up to that. So I'm just gonna do the smaller data set, which hopefully is enough to do the training. And let's go and rerun generate data. And it's probably gonna take an hour or two to generate those files. I'll come back once that's done. Okay, I must say I'm very surprised at how quickly it's exporting everything. I'm not speeding this up and it's literally doing about one image every second. I'll just let it carry on running so you can see how that looks. Okay, we can see now that uh, once the full volume is run, 100, 150, I think I made it. We can go back into um, so the pallet jack data, <clears throat> uh, distractors additional, camera and RGB, and we can see instead of two images, we've got 100 images here. and this total variety is quite amazing. Some pretty cool stuff in here. And let's go and look at the warehouse ones. random stuff in there lots of buckets tubs and other random stuff boxes and finally no distractors at all Just our pallet jacks, but so many different varieties. Oh, I guess that's an empty part of the floor. And yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you here. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please like or subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.